Welcome internet, welcome YouTube. It's Balix here from Digitopreneurs where we give you the tools that will help you uh, run a successful business online. We are back again with another video where we shall be talking about how to send bulk emails using your Gmail. Okay, so uh, we already did one on how to send bulk emails using Outlook. So this time we are going to address that using Gmail. So without wasting any time, let's get into my screen so that I show you how to do that. So what you will need, very, very importantly, what you will need is you will need to set up a Google uh, spreadsheet or Google sheet. And then you will use that Google sheet uh, to do what is called mail merge. Now, uh, there is uh, the beautiful template that was created by one of our friends uh, on Google. So uh, what we shall do is head over to that page so that we can make a copy of that spreadsheet. Okay. Uh, now the link to that uh, to that page will be in the description below. So let's head over there right now. So if you come to this page, you will find uh, you will see that page. Of course, they will take you through the pro the entire process. However, you don't have to struggle. I will take you through it very quickly. So all you have to do is come here and set up your spreadsheet just make a copy of this spreadsheet uh, so that you will start your mail merge process so let's make a copy so make a copy of, of that google sheet now this google sheet will come with uh, with uh, names emails and uh, other merge fields okay so imagine that uh, you have your first name you have your last name, you have your recipient, you have your description, you have your discount code, uh, discount amount, and email sent. So maybe this is an e-commerce store, okay? So very important, uh, the, the, the most important are fields that you should never ever uh, change. Uh, the recipient field and the email sent field. You can adjust this, you can rename this field, uh, you can actually even delete it. You can rename this field maybe to physical location. Uh, you can change the description, maybe invoice date, whatever you want it to be. You can even delete the last name, okay? But always maintain the recipient, uh, recipient uh, field and then the email sent field. Now, of course, you can change you can edit this and put different names and different emails. And now the email sent field is uh, a default field. This will show you whether the email has been sent or not after you've finished your mail merge process, okay? Okay, so what I have done now is I've added some more contacts on the, on the Google Sheet so that we see how it will look like when uh, we actually send out this email, okay? Now that we are done with that, let's get back into uh, Gmail and then uh, we prepare our email template which will go out as a bulk email to these different contacts. All we have to do is uh, compose a new uh, draft email and then uh, here what we shall do is the email is coming from uh, uh, my email address it's going to so we shall use the merge field from the Google Sheet okay so we shall open brackets and then copy the recipient merge field from our Google Sheet. Uh, we shall say it's going to that recipient. Uh, Control C. Yeah, copy. Then go back to our draft and paste. And then close uh, the curly brackets. Uh, subject, we can say, uh, let the subject be, uh, if we look at our... <laughs> our Google Sheet, uh, maybe discount on their different products. Uh, let's say name, so we shall say uh, first name. So open brackets, close brackets. We are going to paste, uh, copy, copy their first name and comma and say your discount is ready for example okay so now that our email is done 
uh, we have to copy this subject and then take it in our Google Sheet so that uh, we tell our Google Sheet which draft it should use. Okay, so come to mail merge here and say send emails. Okay, once we click uh, send emails, we shall get a prompt that asks for authorization. Of course, it needs to know which, uh, whether you have permission from your Gmail account to do this. So let's say continue. And then we are going to choose which Gmail account we want to use to send this email. So of course, it's uh, the Balik Hassan. And then uh, it is saying uh, it hasn't been verified, but we know this is uh, a, a Google a Google script, so we trust it. So we go to advanced, and then say uh, go to Google Sheets mail merge. We trust it because it's coming from uh, Gmail. So let me maximize this and say allow. Okay. Authorization successful. So now that we have uh, given it uh, authorization, again we have to go back to mail merge. And again, say send emails. Okay. Now it has finished running the script. It's asking for which subject that we need to use. So we shall paste in the subject in our draft and say okay. Okay. As you can see up there, it's running the script. Okay. It has finished and the emails have been sent. If we increase here, you see it was sent at that time on that particular date. Okay.